being like, uh -huh. yo, that shit's crazy, I love this, or like when I see Dr. Watts play him, but mm -hmm. I like the un like how unpredictable they can be sometimes. Yeah, I know the some uncertainty. People, I know some people hate that, but I love it for like an entertainment standpoint. Right. I think that can be kind of wacky and fun. I think I'm always a hater on stuff like this, <laughs> especially especially a character so hinged on like RNG, but uh, Boku definitely my pick to like honestly like take the Arcadian. I think as long as his path is clean of like people who like usually can beat him, he can do pretty well. And he's a very uh, let's say patient player, right? A guy who who loves putting himself in the corner and sort of like wait on you to approach him. He's a lot of a lot of hero players are like very content in like going for like. Uh, the buffs, so they could do like passive damage and whatnot. Boku loves these projectiles, and as I say that, this yeah, is gonna I be a stock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what a Terry would want to do against a hero. I really I don't like know either, <laughs> especially not against uh, Boku's hero, who is very laid back and willing to just like sit back and go for projectiles, up his uh, shield. Uh, but jab jab power dunk gonna do that sweet 35 on him. But you're gonna be off stage versus hero again. And up the out shield just catching him. Oh, he went for the flag. Yeah. The one thing I always want to look out for when I see a Terry player is that how are they gonna uh, hit that go meter? Because if they know how to make go work, then it doesn't really matter how how much of a lead the R person has. But raw power guys are not gonna do it though. Doesn't get the freeze off of that. But he's up a whole stock now, or two whole stocks yeah. now, and only 60% to his name. Like and, Ter Terry's kind of had a had a hard time kind of getting in yeah. against Boku. Like Elliot hasn't really had too much of an in. Yeah, for sure. And now you're working with no go, so you're gonna have to take it with like a uh, a side B or something like that. All right. All right, that's one way to take a stock. <laughs> it counts. Always but we're gonna home. we're gonna be stacking these buffs though off of the. Uh, oh my God! Tries to do it to him there with the charge side B. But now he has oomph and psych up. So the next hit is going to hit extra hard. And Accelerado. Yeah, if I was Terry, I wouldn't want to run into that either. <laughs> Ill advise up B. And honestly, Boku is in danger of losing the stock. Oh, Videli didn't push it. Does power dunk instead of um, rising tackle, though. Doesn't it not get the stock there? Oh, I was gonna say I wouldn't want to be above a hero. Yeah. Up smash. Was that a crit? I think I heard the sound, but like I don't know if that was a crit or not. There was a small there was a small part in that game one where I thought Terry might have was trying to go for something off stage and then Boku zoomed away. Right. And ended up like center stage. Just it, it can be hard <laughs> to catch a hero as well. 100%. Really hard to like sort of pin that character um, in the corner when they could just teleport out of there. All right. We're gonna go to small battlefield. Less room for Boku to move around, but you're still contending with a character that's willing to zone you out when you're playing Terry. These Zaffles doing a lot of work for Boku right now. All right, now they're kind of dancing around each other, feeling it out. Terry doing a good job of just like extracting pressure from this right now, and Boku can't land. He doesn't have a jump right now, but not gonna pressure him off stage though. 
Boca tried to get the really cheesy setup with the up B there. Good shield. Catches him on the corner. Tries to get oh. the roll re with the side the, the neutral B, but not getting there. And that charge could get punished by the side B. Tries to get him in the yeah. corner again. Boku not finding a clean opening for a kill right now. And oh, that's just good. all the good. way down. Looks like Elliot's kind of really figured out what he needs to do to get to Boku. Yeah, maintain really this lead right now. Not going for the Buster Wolf there. I'm pretty sure that was a misinput. He's really not letting Boku like see the menu too much. Yep. Kind of ca catching uh, Boku slacking on the menu, honestly. There's like a lot of like dead air that is happening right here, uh, with especially with that charge that he's doing. And it's sort of like catching him sleeping. F tilt. Go stack up these uh, these buffs right here. And oh, that's shield break? a kill. Ooh, probably, yeah, 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 45%. And a few spells, this might be even. What? That did 22%. I did not know Zapple did that much. Yeah, Boku has now found his rhythm here. Oh my god, that Zapple just did so much damage. And now it's even. He was up two sacks to one. Or three sacks to one. Yeah, and then Boku took the first sock from Terry and then just. Never, yeah. never went to bed. <laughs> Terry, it has go now, though. What's he going to do off the ledge? Just going to try to get back to center. Boku should watch what he's doing because any jab will honestly kill him. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. He might die. Yes. Is that it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Stops the reverse three stock right there. But Boku, uh, honestly, signs of life towards... Uh, for coming in from him at the end, especially with all those apples. I think they stacked up like 70% for him. And then he got that shield break. Yeah. I feel like the he because he wasn't able to run away as much from Terry to gain a neutral, it made, I think it made it harder for him to get to the menu for his like buffs and stuff. Yeah, definitely. I know that Boku doesn't need necessarily need that stuff, but it definitely helps Hero in tough situations. Yeah, we're going to go back to a bigger stage, though, PS2, um, with more room for uh, him to breathe, honestly. But Elliot doing a good job of, like, just putting a lot of pressure with these power waves. But Boku's sort of, like, getting a lot of tempo right now. This Accelerado is giving him a lot of chances to just run away. And now those power waves are going to mean a lot less now that he has bounce up. Psych up. Yeah. The, oh Kaboom. my God! Kaboom off stage. Definitely gonna be a dead Terry. Boku's now like just running up and trying to mix up uh, Terry's shield timings with these jabs. Catches the drift. And you're gonna have to up B back. Just watch out for neutral neutral get up because you're gonna get down here if so. Not much of extra credit coming in from Boku right now, so he's gonna have to watch out. Good escape from Elliot, but he's on the ledge again. Gonna get caught by the up B. Elliot's kind of, I feel like he's kind of scared to kind of go in and commit, but I also don't 100% yeah. know exactly what Terry would need to do. Yeah, giving, giving, I don't, I don't know what to do either because, oh my oh. God, that's Another just a dead Terry. A collection of Boku moments coming in right now. Yeah, the more that Elliot can't get an opening, the more that Boku can just stack up these, these buffs. And it becomes way, way, way unreasonable to 
make this comeback. And Boku just gonna oh, yeah, tries he's going for it. Gets oh. reversal. But he still has a whole extra stock to work with. And oh, that's a, a snooze. snooze. I felt like that gave three. There were a couple, just a couple points where I feel like Elliot did get in, but then what didn't really push it too far. He was like, I got my couple jabs.